Hello everyone, welcome to a corner farming in the Philippines. Well, I came down to begin uh, making the last of the uh, net tensioners, I guess we could call them, and uh, decided to uh, as well. I'm going to do a serious water change, uh, water exchange, and in a in a moment of uh, frustration because all these tanks were just interme intermingling and overflowing because the uh, the screens that Tata had used he'd used actual screen and so I just the fish were all jumping from one tank to another because they were just draining they weren't draining through the drains they were just overtopping and the fish were going back and forth between the tanks anyway. So I just punched through all those screens and uh, so the, at least the water would flow in a serpentine fashion the way that I wanted it. Um, need to do a water exchange anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drain each of these tanks and move the fry. I'm going to move them all into this last tank. Uh, we have a screen for that. Uh, so I'm just draining them out here. I'm going to have to drain every one of these tanks to get all the fry out. When I get these guys in a pile here, when I get this tank drained, uh, I'm going to set this capture net over in there and go get the go get the net that is made for uh, this cage. I should have got it first, but I wasn't thinking about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bucket of cement and I'm going to go around with some much larger screen um, because look all these all these uh, tanks are going to have screen in them. So I'm not worried about the small fry moving from tank to tank um, because none will be able to escape out of these out of this net and all these tanks are going to have at least these tanks here are going to have that net in it and, and probably the first three of those this one here I don't know how a certain number of these tanks here will for now be designated as fry grow out tanks uh, to get them to fingerling size you know, like these guys here so uh, and this is going to be the first one so I'm going to transfer all these little uh, fry uh, fingerlings into this tank and um, I've got to get them out of all the tanks so they're all going to get water exchange today and get them all in one spot again and then go get some cement and uh, put in a new much larger screen that won't plug up from uh, the feed. I'm going to use that large black screen that we've got. Well, it is apparent <laughs> that um, the walls of these uh, tanks are high enough because that breeder fish right there is from this tank. I know she's from this tank because uh, I drained this tank down. That's where I started the water exchange here. I drained this tank out because one of these fish in here is just not looking great. And I noticed there was a, a breeder missing. And it's like, well, that's, who knows what happened to it? Who knows where it went? And uh, now I know. he or she jumped ship and jumped over into this tank at some point. Yeah, that fish right there is just not liking life that much. And so, and there was one trapped behind the net, uh, which I had kind of figured was a, a problem. So, uh, I think we've got that fixed. Uh, we got it out from behind the net anyway. 
now I've just got to catch that fish. That's uh, a big one. I don't know if that's the male or what, but I'm going to let it drain down some more and then I'll, I'll get him or her out of there. I just spoke with Tatai. He was walking by and I told him what I was going to do. And now he tells me that net is not finished. And I asked him if he could finish it and he said he would. He said one side still needs to be sewn up. So uh, I would assume they're taking care of that right now. I can't leave during this because uh, the puppies can still get in here and they like fingerlings. So I basically have to guard this. And so I'm going to hang out here until I'm finished, until this is finished draining. You know, I've got a fish in here that's blocked everything up, so. Some of these might be too large to get out. And if they are, I'm going to have to fish them out by hand. There was obviously one that there was one that got sideways in there and I just pushed it back through. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can catch that fish. Right, well I caught her. It was a female. Really big female. And so She's back in there where she's supposed to be. So, I don't know how we're going to keep them from jumping from one tank to the next. Because that's down about four inches from the top. Obviously not enough, but uh, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know if, as if there is a solution other than lowering the level of these tanks way down. See this one still has the screen on it and this is the problem. All those little snails along with the feed plug these little tiny screens up see this one here is already overtopping down at the other end and you know you just you can't run a railroad like this they should have been you know I don't want to throw Tatai under the bus because I know it was hard work uh, digging these out but again I had suggested that he put these in before uh, the final coat of cement but he didn't so because it was such a pain in the ass to chip these these holes out he didn't really go deep enough they should all be set in about two inches deeper than what they are Careful, Tata! I don't don't knock that down. There's already a small amount in there. Uh, maybe one time you could just scoop it. Okay. All right. Well, we got them all out. Got them moved. Much better environment for them now. I'm going to move this oxygenation over and. Start draining this tank. All right. Well, we completed that tank there. There's no we. I'm just. It's just me draining them and waiting around for the 
nets to fill up. There's no reason to have top eye in there. It'll help me now. I just needed to, to help me get that net in. And I'll, I'm going to need them to help me transfer those fry out of that original breeding tank. I guess we're going to get to see if the shrimp is still in this tank or not. I'm going to drain this one. I'm going to drain them all. I'm going to drain, well, I'm not going to drain the very last one that the new fry, or that the fry are going into. I'm not going to drain that one, but all the other tanks uh, are getting drained. Well, those tanks right there are not getting drained. But the water's flowing through them, so it's, it's going to be 100% water exchange. That tank, that tank, and all these tanks except for the last one are going to be drained. Alright, so Tata and, Tata and Nerio are removing uh, the white screen, or trying to anyway. It's not looking that easy. And then we're going to take the fry that are in that and move them into the aquarium. Tata has made me a little aquarium net that, I'm, that I've been wanting for a while. My God, there's many, hundreds.
Uh, how many you think, Tate? More than 400. More than 400? I can't believe there were that many in there. Yeah, that's not enough aeration for that many. I'm going to have to put another stone in there. You just keep stepping them out. <laughs> God. I gotta go check on what's draining over here. No bad enemy? Alright, well the shrimp didn't survive somehow. Look, <coughs> I can tell. I just scared them. There's fry in this that are too small, where they're so small that they got through this net. And the only way to get those is to pull the screen. And it looks like the screen has gone down in the water. So at some point, where's the, no, it, is the screen still up there, Tate? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's many like this that go through this Tate, so we're only going to catch the bigger ones. We have no place to put the smaller ones, so we just leave them. So at some point, when we have 
space to put them, we will get the we'll get the one inch ones out. I'm thinking in that little aquarium. I moved another air stone into it. We are not going to get to the last two of those boxes there. Uh, we finished that one, no bad of me. Uh, that little shrimp or two. Uh, who knows what happened to them. Uh, I'll do those two boxes there tomorrow. I forgot to get solvent today. Uh, that's why I couldn't finish the, finish those boxes. I can't put this PVC together without glue. So I don't know. I've got to I've got to find some line. I've got to go through my line. I've got some black in there. I think I put that other air stone in there, but that leaves just one air stone for I don't know a thousand fry in that tank there. So I'm gonna go in the house and go through my stuff and find that line because it definitely needs more aeration than what it's got. So I'm gonna end this one up for now. I'm thinking we've got another, I don't know, it's hard to tell. There's at least another 500. We, we took out oh, at least 100 fingerlings out of this. There's at least who knows? There, there could be another 500 that escape through that net that are too small for that net to capture. I, that's why I'm struggling so hard to get caught up on this and make it right. Because there's, you know, that was the production from one tank in less than a month, in like three weeks. So with those four boxes right there, we could be getting that many fry every week. If I can just get it lined out. So um, I'm, that's why I'm working so hard to get this right. And even pull Tata and Nerio off what they were doing today. So I can get a little bit of help and get it done. Tomorrow's another day. We'll hit it again. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.